Hi guys, been a while since I've uh, done a video, but I got very, very sick of uh, people talking about this, so I thought I would make the video and just answer it straight out. Do I think that steroids are cheating? What do you guys think? Are they cheating? Straight simple answer, probably going to piss a load of you off. No, I don't. I don't. I don't think they are. I really don't think they are. Unless you're competing in a sport that doesn't allow them, then no, no, you're, you're not cheating. Do I think that people should go and take them? No, I certainly bloody don't. I think that about 99.99 reoccurring percent of the population should never touch them. If you watch my other video about what supplements you should take or should should you take supplements, you'll notice that I made a triangular um, template and at the bottom of that I had your training and your uh, basic exercise routine and at the top of it I had steroids, I had uh, performance enhancement drugs and the point of that video was to tell you that you should never even think about touching that kind of stuff until you get to that elite level and Barely anyone gets to that level. Barely anyone. And I, I'm, I'm all about actual, you know, professional athletes, professional competitors. Some of them don't even reach that level because they still haven't quite got it down how their hormonal functions are, what foods to eat when, or what time of day, all of the exact little things that get more and more, you know, finite. They haven't got those things down. So therefore, I conclude it a waste of steroids. <laughs> I really just think it's a waste. I'm going to throw in another point here to those of you that think steroids are cheating as well. Let, let me tell you what the real cheat is. If, if we're going to if we're going to call it cheating, this is what I think is really cheating. Genetics. Genetics are the biggest, biggest influence on athletic ability out of a lot of them. Out of the lot of them. Alongside natural mentality, but once again, you could have all the mentality you want, but if you haven't got the genetics, you're a bit limited. I can't lie about it, I can't run away from it. Genet genetics are a brutal fact of life. No matter how hard you train or how much you eat, that's it's not gonna you know it's not gonna change the fact that you were predispositioned genetically to grow to a height of six foot six and weigh a natural twenty stone. You can't train for that growing up. Okay, that's you. You could train and eat more to get heavier, but your height and your bone mass is pretty much all determined by genetics. Some environment to a degree, but mostly it's all genetics. I'm not just talking about guys. It's the same for girls as well. Some girls naturally have more of an aesthetically pleasing figure, not based on what they did, based on genetics. Genetics, genetics are, are the biggest cheat of the lot. So I find it funny when people, you know, discredit each other for uh, taking steroids. I, I, I see a very funny example of it all the time in the gym. I've I've seen guys who are six foot eight, right, and they weigh about twenty four stone with without tra You know, this is just what they grew to. This is what they were when they were eighteen. For heaven's sake, you know. And then they've got little five foot six guys who are benching the same amount of them. And people are saying, oh yeah, but he's on steroids, he's not, so it's more impressive. <laughs> more impressive. <laughs> it makes me laugh. It makes me laugh. A lot of you are probably going to disagree with me, and this is a controversial video, but I'm, I'm sorry, I don't give a shit. It's, 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 it's the truth. Do I think people should take steroids? No. Mostly I don't. Not until they've got to a certain stage of training which nearly no one attains. I think it's a waste. And I think that we're giving off the wrong impression to a lot of our youth in this day and age with these kind of supplements. Do I think they're cheating? No, unless the sport says specifically that you cannot take these drugs, I don't think they're cheating. Consider this, all of the world's top strongmen, I guarantee you, even if steroids didn't exist, they'd still be the strongest men in the world. They'd still be there. And you know why they'd still be there? Because they train their bloody asses off. They want it. They want it more than anyone. That's the bottom line. That coupled with they have very, very fucking good genetics. 
Thanks again for watching, guys. Peace out, and uh, let me know what you think.